Hey people, it's Arc Wamp here and welcome to episode 20 of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Last time, we did more investigation and we discovered basically the general backstory of DL6. Edward's father was murdered, Spirit Medium was called in, the guy was brought in, was arrested because of it. That guy was guilty, Edward has a grudge and forever and ever. And oh, we talked to the gross burger at Delilah. She's gone. Delilah's gone. His beautiful painting is gone. We have to talk to Edgeworth now. And we're almost done with this first investigation phase. We're actually coming down to the wires of running Watch this. I was hoping you'd go on the message the first time. Edgeworth, what about your defense? It's no concern of yours. I will defend myself. I have defense attorney blood me. That or basically, oh my gosh, Edgeworth then calls. I have one option. <laughs> and then basically, Uncle Ray's here. Yeah, I have Uncle Ray on my side! Because he hasn't found anyone yet. That's gotta present the Misty Fae photo. Edgeworth, it's only been a matter of hours since you last visited. Yet you've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit it, I'm impressed, right? You are always single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? About the DL6 incident. Right. DL6. I didn't want you to find out about it. Ah, ah, get an itch in my ear. That's why I refused your offer to defend me. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. I just wanted to keep you away from DL6. It's a bad influence on people. So, do you think it would have been better for me to just stay away? I don't know. But, I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well. Ask whatever you like and I will answer to the best of my abilities. The DL6 incident. The DL6 incident was when my father died. Right before my eyes, he was shot and killed, and I saw it. My memories from that time are foggy. I suppose it's a self defense mechanism. That oxygen deprivation? In any case, a suspect was arrested, a man. It's pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond. And Hammond is the victim in the Gord Lake murder. Correct. Um, that's your medium. Well, that was my mom. What? You mean your... It's strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end. And now, this. About to end. The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago. 15 years ago. On December 28th. December 28th? The statute of limitations on the case runs out in three days. What? What? Uh, Nick, what does that mean? When a case's statute of limitations runs out, legally the case never happened. Three days from now, DL6 will be closed. Forever. The suspect. What happened to the suspect? The one who got off innocent? I don't know. He disappeared from public view. Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old now. I guess I can understand why he'd go into hiding. It'd be, be it'd be hard to live a normal life after being sus a murder suspect in a such a big case. Um, so was your father a lawyer? He was. Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So, you were sort of trying to find him in his mind death? I'd rather not talk about it. And now, we go with the badge. Your attorney's badge. I can't say I really want to see one of those right now. Ah, come on. I'm sorry, I can't think of anything I want to say about that. Hmm. Who would have thought there'd be a photo? Edward, did you shoot him? What do you think, right? I don't think you, you're the kind of kind to point a gun at someone, anyone, no. Don't you dare do him! No, I didn't. I, it wasn't me. Right. It pains me to ask you this now. I know you wanted to defend me! Yes, will you? Of course we will. Uh, who could have guessed the day would come? Not me. This is my chance to finally pay you back. Pay you back? Pay me back. For what? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. Never mind, I guess you don't really need to know. Huh? My letter of request. Please give it to Detective Gamshu. Well, I guess we should. 
What's that? What's that? Aqua Nick! It's a big one! Whoa! It's going down! Phew! That was scary! Huh? Where did that one go? There! Yeah, he's on the floor in a ball shivering! I guess he doesn't do something with earthquakes! I've heard of running, but curling up in a ball? Well, I guess we're done! Mr. Edward doesn't seem like he's gonna see that anytime come soon! Let's go, Nick! Uh, right. And then the car's just standing there! He's just standing like, uh, I'm, I'm not getting involved in that crap. We have to give that to a rather requested detective gumshoe. September 25th, Police Department. Criminal Affairs. What's going on here? Eee! Well, what? What's wrong, Detective? This wild lady comes here just a while ago, says she came to talk to y'all after hearing what Mr. Wright had to say. What's this all about, pal? Why are you saying crazy people here? A lot of heart. Why are you going about finding more witnesses? You want to give Mr. Edgeworth a death sentence, pal? N no, not at all. Just, I mean, she did see something. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't go around co covering up evidence. Eh, you try to say something about the way I do my job. You know, sir. <laughs> Entrance request. Look what I got! Hey, you did it, pal! Glad I waited till the last minute to file those papers! I'll rip them up and drop the new ones for you. Thanks, detective. Well, see you in court them all, then! Good luck, pal! Hey! You guys feel that earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Worry? What mine? I've lived here here my own life. I'm pretty used to them by now. Oh, I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth, the one true god of logic. Oh, right. He did seem to overreact a little more now that you mentioned. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big quake. I'm gonna go check on him. You two go eat and get your rest for the Mars trial. Later! I wonder what he is with Mr. Edgeworth earthquakes. I wonder. He was never that scared of them when he was in school. Well, he also had a living father when he was in school. Then again, I was only in the same class as him for fourth grade. He transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. To be continued. Oh, this is gonna be fun for me. This is gonna be fun because <laughs> I'm gonna have just so much fun with this trial. I'm looking forward to this one. December 26th, 9.44 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Karma? That's right, Manfred von Karma. He's the best prosecutor there is. He hasn't lost a case in his 40 year career. He is a god of prosecution, like a god! Not a single case! He'll do anything to get a guilty mark. Anything! Hmm. Sounds like someone else I know, actually. You don't understand! I mean, he'll really do anything. Manfred von Karma is a man to be feared. That's quite a claim coming from someone who forges evidence. He taught me what it really means to prosecute. Wh what? Just picture a prosecutor as vicious as me, multiplied by a factor of ten. Ah, uh, so, what are you teaching him in that one? Something like that. Teacher, adoptive father, things like that. And now he's trying to get you found guilty, what a queen! Oh wait, maybe he's planning on losing a murder, don't you? Not a chance. He hasn't lost one in... Well, it's once in 40 years. 40 years! And not to mention, it's December 26th! Manfred von Karma does not take December 26th well! He, he gets the Christmas die after Christmas blues! He loves Christmas! He loves Christmas like all else! Do not mock Christmas in front of him! He is in a volatile mood because of it, and he will kill us all! Yes, in case you haven't realized, and I have this strange headcanon where Manfred von Karma is obsessed with Santa and worships him like a god. And loves Christmas beyond all else. I don't know why. It's just something I have done. It's just something that has stuck with me. He just ruthless as me times 20. That's pretty ruthless. Like I said, he's a god amongst prosecutors. In fact, he's the reason why I'm not wearing a badge. Heck, yeah, the funny thing is, you will notice throughout the series that not many, that only two prosecutors wear their badge. And that's because Manfred had such an effect on the entire system where he basically made it where every, where no one wears their prosecutor badge on their lapel, literally. 
Except two people who we will be meeting in Investi Ace Attorney Investigations 2. Speaking of Mia. Um, Maya. Uh huh. We could really be using Mia's help right now, don't you think? Oh! I can't! Sorry! I tried, really tried, but I couldn't reach! You couldn't reach? I think it's because I have been training! My battles are weak again! Oh man, what's bad timing? I'm really sorry! I'll try my best! I hope so! I hope so. What are you whispering about? Uh oh, it's nothing. Well, it's time. Let's head in. <laughs> I am looking so forward to this because this is just gonna be a delight. Manfred is one of those characters who's just so hammy. As you can see, just look at that sprite. Just that sprite right there. You can already get some idea of who we're facing. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. And here's Count Dracula himself, literally. That is just a common joke that Manfred is Dracula. Look at the way he's dressed. Hell, he probably brought Dracula's wardrobe. <laughs> uh, Mr. Von Karma, is the prosecutor right? Fool. You see anything that I wouldn't stand here? Why not completely prepared? But right, my apologies. He's even got the judge scared. Very well, your opening statement, please. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Not to mention, I have Christmas magic on my side. Christmas magic verifies all of my arguments. Oh, uh, uh, nothing, of course. That should be fine. The prosecution may call its first witness. What with this guy? Is he royalty or something? He's perfection, Maya. How am I supposed to fight against this? I call the detective in charge of the case. Detective Geek Gumshoe. Okay, Gumshoe's first. Let's see how this goes. Describe the incident. No! Y yes, sir! Detective Gumshoe looks nervous. Uh, please, take a look at this map. Don't hurt me, sir! The murder happened late Christmas Eve, around midnight. There was one boat in the very middle of the lake. There were two men on the boat. Now, there happened to be a woman camping here on the edge of the lake. At 12 a.m., she heard two pistol shots. Then the boat started to move. It went towards the boat rental shop. Oh, and map added. Testify to the court about your arrest. No! Wait, Mr. Paul Karma? Yes. Actually, I'm the one that's supposed to be handling these proceedings and... The finger waggle? Wrong. There is only one thing you need to do here. You will slam down your gavel and say the word guilty. That is your role. Y yes, of course, you're quite right. No, he's not! And with Manfred, you get no gaps. There is no gaps ever. A man called into the station about 30 minutes after midnight. We headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Now, I didn't suspect him of anything at all. But the next morning, a body was found in the lake. We had to rest Mr. Edgeworth. Mm, I see. Very well. Begin your cross examination, attorney. No! Wow, Manfred's actually, yeah, this is one thing I found funny, Manfred is actually generous, he gives, he's giving Phoenix actually a chance to cross-examine, because with how Manfred is, he wouldn't even be like, your cross-examination is not necessary, you get nothing, guilty by the, no, stop gamble! Okay, Mr. Bokar, guilty, <laughs> good, come back the time! Yes, and now we will go to the karaoke bar and say, my way! <laughs> Yes, because according to sh the creator's fan head canon, <laughs> Manfred literally does go out after every guilty verdict he wins and sings my way. Edgeworth also did the same thing. The rest of Edgeworth. You do not get, now before you start thinking, you don't even get a chance to present evidence because Manfred won't let you. Manfred, even if you had the correct evidence, Manfred, he'd kick your ass. You received a call from a man? Uh, uh, yeah. But you said there was a woman camping here. She was the one who heard the gun two gunshots, right? Yeah, and then I objected. That woman and that man who called the report are two different people, obviously. Different people? There were two witnesses. Ugh. Their testimonies were quite similar, however. Today I've summoned the woman who was camping. The woman who was camping? A lot of heart. What happened next, detective? We headed to the scene of the crime as far as we could. How long is it between receiving the report and your arrival at the lake? Uh, 
Oh, well, I think it was around three minutes. That's pretty fast. Our motto for the month is get there quick! Detective, you are a very casualty revealing department secrets. I will finger snap your ass into oblivion! And don't you think Alfred Bones, literally, ma according to the anime, Manfred Snaps have the capability of knocking people off their feet, literally, just Manfred has to snap his finger once, he, he's hitting you knocking, he knocks you down with a, gust of, with a gust of wind. Yes sir, sorry sir! Do that, and you will be able to look forward to your next Saturday review. Yes, see, this is one way, one, you see, Manfred, he may be a cruel, heartless man, as we'll learn. But at least he actually gives this detect the detective under him the chance of a pay raise. Ezra's on the other hand, he will cut your pay until the end of time. You get one raise from him. And that's after you pretty much take down just you have to take down a fake president. So much to look forward so much to look forward to these days! This is no time for day to me. Continue! Y yes, sir! Don't hurt me, sir! That's the way found Mr. Edward. What was Mr. Edgeworth like when you saw him then? Well, of course he was beautiful, because he's Mr. Edgeworth. He was also dignified, and he has a cool coat. But what I saw, he was pretty relaxed, not like a man at all, really. Detective, the closer the car is the facts, not your opinion. And Myers Edgeworth was never relaxed. Trust me, I know. I've known him for so many years. 15 years, and he never looks relaxed. How many years have you been on the force? Facts only detective, hard court objective facts. Y yes, sir. Man, he's got his share of objection. Yes, <laughs> okay, let's move on. Why didn't you think he was suspicious? You should know, we have a deep trusting relationship with the prosecutors. Ha! Big objection, I do not trust any of you worms. You are mere detectives. You are like dirt on my heel. I kick you off when you irritate me. And when you don't irritate me, you just stick that. I don't even notice you. Detective, <clears throat> damn it, Dr. Trump, your voice for me is not perfect. Detective, the court is interested in your musings. Deep tossing poppycock. I've never heard so many flippant comments from an active detective on the force. Hmm. I have to call. Sorry. Okay, did I hit the button? Okay, good, good, good. <coughs> Detective Gumtree doesn't look so good. Continue! No! But the next morning, a virus out in the lake! Oh, sorry. Sorry, I actually did it. Did you find any clues on the body? A single bullet was recovered from the body. He was shot through the heart, barely. Judge, here's the bullet. It's insect bone, so its chance was well preserved. Very, very well. The court accepts the bullet evidence. So we have, so we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. Okay. Well, why is that? Well, we found the murder weapon on the boat. The murder weapon. A pistol. Detective Gumshoe. That is a vital piece of information. Please revise your testimony. Right. Cesar, Your Honor. Decisive evidence. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is getting a little bump. <sighs> what about this pistol made decisive evidence? It is decisive evidence because I declared it was decisive evidence. It is my evidence and it is perfect. Just look at that Maverick von Karma glare. That, that is just the epitome of evil. <laughs> Actually, no, no. I can't say that it's the epitome of evil. There is one prosecutor out there who could basically make Manfred a, who basically could make Manfred his B. And I'm gonna get so much. I'm gonna have so much fun when I do. When I get to him, <laughs> Ack! He has the same evil laugh as Edgeworth. <laughs> there were fingerprints on the pistol and the boat. They were clear prints from Mr. Edgeworth's right hand. What? Order, order. So Mr. Edgeworth's fingerprints were found on the bullet murder weapon. Y yes, Your Honor. George, this is the weapon in question. Uh, accepted evidence. Members of the court, we now have the pistol used in the murder, used in the murder and the boy found in the body. Detective! Y yes, 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 sir. Sorry, my, I, I, it's hard for me to transition with. Was the boy found in the body fired in this pistol? Yes, the policy mark is on the boy, not the pistol. 
Dang it! Why does that thing mean by missing mark? Basically the fingerprints of a gun. Shocking! To imagine someone here does not know something as basic as ballistic markings! How many years have you spent studying glory to go? Nerd! He's glaring at me! Very well, I'll explain! Actually, Judge, you do it! Uh, me? Uh, ahem! Ballistic markings are like the fingerprints of a gun. The barrel leaves distinct marks on each bullet it fires. You can examine these ballistic fingerprints to see which gun fired the shot. It's quite accurate. Indeed! This leads to one inevitable conclusion. The bullet found the victim's heart was without a doubt fired from this pistol. This pistol, which, as you may recall, was covered with the lens of fingerprints! Oh, order! Order! This is bad. This makes it look like Edgeworth did it! Well, Judge! I'd say it's almost decisive, yes. Honestly, I could declare a verdict at this point. However... <laughs> you'll delay Manfred's verdict. you wish to hear the witness speak, no doubt. Very well! I am so much fatigued, and so I wish to we'll take a brief break. I will call my witness after the recess, which will last ten minutes. Judge! Y yes What are you doing? A ten minutes recess? No! But, but, wait, I... No! Just bang your flimsy gal and get it on with, man! Yes! <laughs> the judge is talking and acting like such a battered wife. He's <laughs> Everyone is battered around Manfred. Uh -huh. This court will take a 10 minute recess. Who's running this court anyways? And then Patrick points it up. This guy! De December 26th, 11.09 AM. District Court, Defending Lobby 2. Edgeworth, what's going on here? Your fingerprints were on the murder weapon? I had the desire to hold it right. Oh, uh, hmm. And that foggy photo makes one thing clear. The one who could have got the man was the person in the photo. True, true. Was that you on the boat? Yes, it was me. What? But you must believe me, I didn't shoot him. So then who did? I, I don't know. You don't know? Weren't you right there? I heard a gunshot from very close by. Then the other man fell from the boat. I can't say why, but I thought at the time that he had shot himself. You mean it was a suicide? That's the only explanation I can come up with. Huh? How am I going to convince anyone of that? This is a Dangarampa! There's only been one suicide in the entire East Attorney franchise. Actually two if you count defendants. Say, Maya. Huh? What what? Any progress with Mia? Oh, sorry. It's no good. Ugh. I know! I'm not good for anything, am I, Nick? If I can't call my sister, I might as well not be here, right? <laughs> yeah, you're useless, Maya! Um, well, actually, you don't know law, you don't have any child experience or techniques. Yeah, you're pretty much useless, but I can't say that. It's all my little game, and you don't say anything! Your face did it all for you! Whoops! No, no, of course not, we are, I'm sorry! It's okay, Nick! I don't know anything about trials or defense! Once more, I'm a spare meal game you can't just deal with. Aw, everyone has their off days. I mean, the guy's just been getting lucky lately. I mean, I've been getting lucky lately, but you never know when my luck's gonna run out. Technically, it's gonna run out on April 20- It's gonna run out on April 19, 2019. Really? Whoa, right! Don't chase this case any what it already is! It's bad for my heart! Oh, okay, oh, sorry. Whoops. Court is back in session. Mr. Von Karma, call your witness. Yes! Me and Miss Lotterheart take the stand! Lotterheart, you are Isa Suth at the University? That I am. Good! Begin by telling us what you saw the night of the incident. I don't have anything trivial or subjective. Understand? Just say what I told you to say! Y'all need to learn some manners! And y'all need to learn some English! UNDERSTAND! Yeah, yeah, I understand, I understand. Oh, very well, your testimony, please. Witness account! It was Christmas Eve just after midnight, I reckon. I was in my car, I heard this bang come up from the lake. When I looked out the window, I saw two gents on a boat. And then there was another bang. There was another thing on the lake but that boat. Enough! Huh? Judge! 
She has happened to take a photo of the incident. This is that photo. Except there's evidence. Well, this is a surprise. This looks like the very moment of the murder. Oh, order. I will move you from the court if I do not order immediately. As the witness testified, she looked at the lake when she heard the shots. There was no other boat on the lake. So the man in the boat with, with the victim must have been the one who shot him. Yes, it was in the man that Myers Edge was. Order, order, order. I will ha I will have order. Well, Judge. I am sorry my man voice isn't so crackly, it's just my throat is killing me. I've recorded ten parts today. The evidence is decisive. I have very little doubt about this case. Very well, this court finds the defendant. Well, wait, Your Honor! I haven't even crossed examined the witness yet! A cross examination? We have photographic proof! What question can there possibly be? This vault is worth a thousand words, and they all read guilty! <laughs> See, this is why just Maverick is just one of those things. You just can't help but laugh at just. He is just so. <laughs> he is just so whimsical that he's, uh, he's so over the top. You lose! Or do you claim to have found a contradiction or testimony? Very well. If you have to, you may cross examine the witness. You will only flounder and ask meaningless questions. You will fail to find anything. And then I will have you ready to condemn the court. I'm next condemned. Condemn the court, you know. I guess I understand. Well, what are you going to do? Do you really think there was a contradiction with the man in the voice? I think there was. I think I noticed one little thing. Well, I'm pregnant. I didn't notice anything. Right, let's say you did one. Yeah, I got a bad feeling about this. And Phoenix should, because you cannot prove anything with this one. You have to do all presses. I, under I understand. I will cross-examine the witness. Very well. I pray for your sake this isn't a waste of time. Manfred, he will destroy us all if it is. <laughs> Anyways, I think now's a good time to end things off. I really appreciate that you stuck around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer. We come back for the next one. Like, 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 comment, share, do whatever you want. Without, see you later. Bye.